The atomic bomb fleet rendezvous for a day. Aboard the flagship Mount McKinley, commander of Joint Army-Navy Task Force One, Admiral William H. Blandy, plans final details. The decks of the 73 test ships anchored in Bikini Lagoon are scenes of feverish activity as scientists plot experimental programs designed to furnish data on radioactive rays, flash burns, and blast effects of the mighty atom bomb. Animals of many kinds are shipped aboard the target vessels to serve as proxies for human crews in man's endeavor to discover measures to counteract the deadly results of nuclear fission. A sheep loses his fleecy coat in the interests of science. Special ointments are applied to determine their protective qualities other parts of the exposed areas being left bare to the atom blast. Hundreds of samples of pigments, metals, and fabrics are placed aboard the test ships to reveal to the evaluation board and Manhattan district engineers the extent of atomic destruction. All types of materials undergo the smashing blow of the deadly plutonium weapon. Engineers make a trial run with instruments to record the terrific heat spawned by the blast. Thousands of specially designed scientific instruments are installed to record the historic explosion. And weather data is carefully compiled and eagerly studied for the coming of A-Day. Finally, Blandy says this is it. And on the eve of A-Day, Navy Secretary Forrest...